Hello small ones, in today's video we're just going to be explaining to you the benefits of using a Viz Motorsport high pressure fuel pump internal kit. Essentially this is going to increase the fuel pressure capabilities of your car so when you get it remapped it can push more air through your turbo and this will be able to support more fuel going into your system. We also want to tell you guys in this video why of everything that's out there on the market we actually chose to go with Viz Motorsport. Viz Internal Kit, we're going to leave a link to the, in the description to their website. Uh, the price again right now is 300 euros including shipping, customs and all of that stuff. Not which bad is a all. good price. So when you order the kit, they'll just send you this little box. Um, they've actually been kind enough to send us a bunch of stickers as well, so varying sizes. So these are the big ones. You've got the smaller one, even smaller one, and then the slightly sized one. The, the tiny, tiny one! Look in comparison to like the medium one. Tiny. So, <laughs> it's so cute. Thanks to Viz Motorsport for sending us those. We'll pop some on the car. We've already unpacked it anyway. So in the kit, uh, the main thing you're going to get and what you're paying for is the piston. So they have uh, two stages of uh, different pistons. This is the stage one as they call it. The stage one piston can supply 175 bar of fuel pressure, which is much higher than you'll need unless you're running about 600 horsepower. Um, gives, it's got about 55% more piston area over the standard OEM one that comes in the high pressure fuel pumps. The stage 2 kit has just over 200 bar of fuel pressure and that's about 75% more piston area than the OEM one. This is a DIY install as you're going to see in the video that we make when we install the Viz internals in our high pressure fuel pumps and OEM one. You will also receive a new O-ring. It's always good to change these just in case. So you'll also get three new bolts. They're for installing the fuel pump back in your car. They look around the same size. And then last but not least, you get the plate as well. The plate is when you're actually installing the piston right at the end of the process. I believe when you're compressing the spring again. Um, this just holds it all in place properly. And you can see there's a very slight groove in there. So it's been machined specifically for this kit. So as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, I did actually have a really good offer to buy an auto, well, an OEM fuel pump with Autotech uh, internals. And I could have got that at a very good price, but I chose not to because the first generation of the Autotech internals um, were known for basically destroying the engine. I'm not sure the specifics of it. Someone can maybe comment it down below. Um, but I believe the, the internals made the plunger travel too far so it basically just broke through the cam follow which is a common thing on these cars but it basically just sped up the process um, and it would just destroy your engine. So as we were saying earlier you can go for an aftermarket fuel pump with their internals in there for example Loba, uh, APR but they're around 600 to 700 pounds for a new fuel pump with the higher pressure internals already installed in them from those companies but you, you buy the car, you have the fuel pump on it the high pressure fuel pump and this is about 300 euros as of today the price may change very slightly as when you're watching this video um, but this is 300 euros so if you compare what 260 pounds compared to six or seven hundred pounds and this is new stuff as well it's definitely worth going for this if you're not going for an extreme build if you're going for an extreme build i'm talking five six hundred horsepower plus then of course go for maybe the stage two kit because that would suit your needs Stage one should support about 600 horsepower. So if you're going higher than that, look at the stage two kit. Um, and you may even go aftermarket fuel pump and add these internals in after because those fuel pumps may not support that high horsepower. When we contacted um, the guy from Fizz Motorsport, Ovidiu Van Sayer, he was really helpful. Got back to us very quickly. Yeah, within an hour, on a weekend as well. Yeah, and he was really polite, you know, um, he answered whatever questions we had. So definitely the other thing that drew us towards Viz Motorsport was um, their customer service and their customer yeah. care. And they're always on the forums, they're always on the Facebook groups as in the owner of Viz Motorsport and they're always giving advice. Um, if people, not even just to drive sales, but just because they're genuinely passionate about this sort of stuff. That's why they've started their, their company Viz Motorsport. They're passionate about it, they, they're always commenting on pictures saying okay do this instead, do this, um, providing support for the fuel pump installs and things like that. Normally you might, in a, in a larger company you'd have to go from to like a call centre and then maybe go to a, a service centre sort of thing. Basically the customer service is very intimate which is a good thing. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to watch the next video when we will be installing this and in the next video we'll also leave a link to the instructions as well so if you want to fit this yourself 
and do a little DIY, you can follow along as well. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel.